Determine two values of k so that each expression can be factored over the integers. Okay, so let's look into the first one. Well, I'll appreciate if you could copy all those four questions and try it on your own. The first one is x square minus kx plus 9. The second is 4x square minus ky square. Third one is 3x square minus 8x plus k. And the fourth one is 2x square minus ky square. You need to find two values for k and so that this can be factored, right? Using integers. Now, if you can observe one thing, this is 3 square, right? If this is 3 square, I can write this as, I can write this as x minus 3 whole square. This is one option, right? So if I write x minus 3 whole square, the center number should be 2 times AB. A here is 1 and B here is 3, right? So in that case, 2 times 3 will be 6. So K could be 6, right? So I get a value of K as equal to 6 for this to be factor. The other value of K could be minus 6 since I can write this as I mean, k of minus 6, it will become x plus 3 whole square, right? That number will be plus. So, so we have two options, correct? So, those are the two values. Similarly, let's do the others. 4x square minus ky square. Now, in such a situation, k value is just a perfect square. Any value of k which is a perfect square, it could be 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 1 square, all will work right so k values like 1 will work right 4 9 it has to be a perfect square all such values of k will work here right because it becomes a square minus b square how about this one to factor this let's go for sum and product rule we need two numbers like p and q whose product is equals to 3 times k, right? But whose sum is, when we add p and q, we should get minus 8. So that is what we are looking for. So what could those numbers be? So that is that is the issue. So if you want sum as minus 8 and product as 3 times something, that means it has to be a multiple of 3, right? So let's try different multiples of 3. For example, 12. If P and Q is 12, when you multiply, then K should be 4, right? 3 times 4 is 12. Now, 12, can 12 give you minus 8? Let's work it out. So, so let's think like this. 12. Now, yes, we can get 6 times 2, but we need minus, it could be minus 6 and minus 2. So it works. So K value of 4 can work because 3 times 4 is 12 and 12 could be written as minus 6 times minus 2 when you add them you get minus 8 so it works so this is one option we could use 3 times 5 3 times 5 is 15 right and for 15 to get minus 8 5 times 3 and both negative will give me minus 8 to add, correct? So those are my two options and therefore I can write my answer as 3x square minus 8x plus 4 or 3x square minus 8x plus 5. Both k values will work, correct? So that is how we can do it. Now this one is very similar to that. However, there is one difference. 2 is not a perfect square, right? That is the difference. To factor this, what should we do? What we can do is, then k could be, like we can factor this 2 out, right? And we get what? We get x square minus k divided by 2y square. That means k value should be now equals to perfect square times 2, right? So k values could be like 2, 8, 18, like that. Do you understand? Not 16, but 32. Because 32 divided by 2 will be 16, a perfect square. 
So, these are different ways of finding K. So, I have seen normally, you know, this is a very tricky question. It comes under thinking also. But these four examples cover most variety which could be asked in test. So, I hope you will really appreciate it when you get across such a problem in your test paper. All the best. Thank you.